We'll start out with SuperScan 4. I'm simply going to that Tools tab that I made mention of previously. Now, once we're here, we're going to put in whatever we want to do. I'm just going to shove in www.mile2.com. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do the HTTP head request. I'm going to play that and here we go. We see that we're running in Apache 2.2.11, all the other wonderful stuff that's going on there. Now, what about an HTTPS? Hmm, a little slower, isn't it? Do you think maybe that's because that's not going to function? Hmm, might be. That's right, that's right. So that uh, I'm just doing some different tests, messing around here a little bit. Now, let's go change. I'm going to clear this out. And let's change that to 192.168.1.27, which is our local one. So that was quick, pretty easy. Again, we're not having much luck here on the HTTPS because that service is not running on that port, correct? We need to go through and make some changes as far as uh, the, the uh, uh, port numbers that it is going after and attacking. Now, at the same time here, let's put in that www.naga.com. We'll clear this out first. So we'll do our head request. So we see what we have an Apache running. Let's go ahead and do the Oh, yeah, because, no, we're fine. Why? Because Aaron is not something that is going to be useful for that website, is it? What about Apnic? Oh, we're still having difficulties. Let's just run the basic who is. No match for Naga.com. Evidently, uh, the information that is being utilized here is uh, not coming up with what we would expect. Therefore, uh, well, at the same time, this is why we don't use SuperScan 4 for all of this. You can attempt a zone transfer. It will not work on this website. You can see here that zone transfer syntax is, so it's giving a whirl here, and it'll come up with negative results. So you can see there's a lot of little tools built into here that will benefit, uh, benefit us. Let's see if we can also do a... I'm going to clear this because that's going to take too long. I know it won't work anyway. So here at resolvenaga.com for us. So you can go through and find that information out. Now that's SuperScan 4. Uh, now remember, the primary one that we're making use of here is the HTTP head request. We could do a GET request as well. Get the same information back. You're just doing a GET instead of a head. I'm going to close that off. And we're going to bring up the HTTP print. So here we go. First of all, on this one, you need to go to Options and you need to disable the ICMP enable. Why? That's correct because many of these will not respond if that is going to ping it first. So we have that checked. Come up here to the host and we type in whatever we want. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add new. I'm going to put a few of them on here so you can see what's, uh, what's going on. And you can compare the results. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play now. What it's going to do is it's going to go run its scan, and it's going to scan each one of these, and it's going to give us the banner that's being reported by them. And then it's going to try to deduce that banner based upon a signature similar to what you would see with Nmap. And you'll see that uh, it has a tendency to use those same types of information. So here it's all completed. So we see that Mile 2 is, of course, an Apache 2.0. This is just a basic banner. It's not as detailed as what is reported. This one here is IIS 6. It, re it reports. It's deduced as an IIS 6, and here's the Apache 224. Now, this is interesting. This is Google's. We know that Google reports the banner as a GWS, but according to HTT Print, the best likelihood that it actually is is a Microsoft IIS 6.0. Now, we don't know that for sure. I don't know that. I do not know what, what Google's running. I've never 
even investigated to see what they are. What I, the reason that I pull this in is so that you guys can see that if the banner being deduced is different than what's being reported, you will be able to see that here. That's the only reason why I share that. This is a good tool and I recommend making use of it. It is also built into uh, Backtrack, so you can also utilize it in Backtrack. And I believe if we go to K here, go to Backtrack, I need to find my HPing2, or, or not HPing2, sorry, HTTP print GUI. So we pull that up and you'll see that it is the exact same thing that we were looking at previously just in Linux rather than in Backtrack. So there you go. There it is. Same version, 301. So hopefully that will be of good use to you.